hi everyone so um make sure that you subscribe to my channel click the button which says subscribe yeah so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting yeah so today i'm solving uh, question 10 from tutorial sheet 2 uh, so we're solving question 10 from tutorial sheet 2 so we start with the first question here the question is saying solve the following equation for x is a member of real numbers so how do you solve such equation we have the square root of 2x minus 3 being equal to 1 so this one is simple you just square both sides and then we're going to have 2x minus 3 being equal to the same one again so the value of x will now be found by saying 1 plus uh, 3 so we're going to have 2x being equal to 4 so mean the value of x will just be equal to 2 so when you're solving such equations you can be testing your values of x so you can test this one put two there so it's going to be 4 minus 3 the square root of uh, 4 minus oh, I mean 4 minus 3 you get 1 the square root of 1 you get 1 so meaning the, the solution is correct let's move on to b so b is saying the square root of uh, 3x uh, minus 8 so we take this other part to the other side of the equal sign so it's going to be like this x plus 2 yeah so again we do the same we square both sides so we square both sides then what do we do now after, after squaring both sides we 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 now solve the equation so it's going to be like this and then this side we're going to just remain with x plus 2 so you uh, you pair the like terms 3x it's going to be 3x minus x then this other side is going to be 2 plus 8 so which gives you this side you get 2x this other side you get 10 so the value of x will now be equal to when you divide 10 by 2 you get 5 you can also try it out put 5 there so it's going to be 15 minus 8 which is 7 minus so 5 plus 2 is also 7 so the square root of 7 minus the square root of 7 you still get you i mean you're going to get your answer zero so this tells us to say our solution is correct let's move on to the next question we move on okay yeah so we proceed we answer c so c is also uh, a similar question yeah but when you look at c uh, mathematically mathematically this question is uh, is wrong mathematically this question is wrong so even if we solve this question i don't think uh, we'll get the what's this i don't think it's going to be okay let's do it you see why i'm saying it's wrong because they you can't find the square root of a number and find your answer to be a negative number so this one when you find such a question sometimes you just say no solution if you okay if you think maybe this is uh, what i'm saying is is not correct let us try it out so the square root of 5x minus 1 to give us negative 4 let us square both sides okay so when you square both sides we're going to have 5x minus 1 being equal to uh this is 16 so 5x minus 1 will give you uh, 16. So let us now pair the like terms. So it's going to be equal to uh, 16 plus 1 which gives you 17. And then your value of x will now be equal to 17 over 5. Try to put 17 over 5 there. You're going to get 17. 17 over 5. 
times 5 you get 17 minus 1 is 16 the square root of 16 is positive 4 but here we have a negative 4 so meaning it's not accepting so meaning when you find such a question it's mathematically wrong so you just write no solution it's same as when you find a question which says the absolute value of maybe x plus uh, any number here maybe x plus 8 sorry let me use the absolute value symbol you get the absolute value of any number and then you find they put the answer this side or negative 5 just not to say this is this solu this question has no solution so it's not possible for you to find the absolute value of any given number and then you find the answer to be a negative number so once you find such an, e uh, an equation in in the paper or in anywhere else just not to say it has no solution same applies to this one it's it's impossible for you to find the square root of a number and uh, find a negative answer so let us move on to the last question d so the last question d is saying uh, the absolute value of 2 minus x is equal to the square root of 4 minus x so here what we do is remember what we, we said so we know to say okay so we know to say when you have the absolute value symbols like this you have two possibilities of having your answers so we can have our answer to be uh, the negative of the square root of 4 minus x and then we also have we also have 2 minus x being equal to the positive of the square root of uh, okay this is 4 minus x so proceed so what we do here we can now start solving so you can find for you to get rid of uh, the square we can square both sides we square this side we also square this side but trust me to say when yeah when we square this side we also square this side we still get the same answers unless maybe before we square we divide everything by okay let's try to do this see maybe it can give us different answers we first start by dividing by negative so when you divide by negative on both sides we're going to have x minus 2 this side being equal to the square root of 4 minus x so when we square both sides we're going to have when we square this side we also square this other side so we're going to have x squared this side minus uh, 4x minus 4x then plus 4 this being equal to 4 minus x so you get x squared then this negative x you take it to the other side of the equal sign so it's going to be negative 3 x then this 4 you take it to the other side of the equal sign to give you 0 so meaning you have your 0 there and then what you now do is uh, you just factor out the x this side so we're going to have x minus 3 in brackets being equal to uh, 0 so meaning our first value of x let me just demarcate here our first value of x will be equal to 0 then our second value of x you equate this x minus 3 to 0 meaning you get your x to be equal to uh, 3 so let us also try this one out we square both sides we square this side so we're going to have 4 minus uh, 4 x and then we have plus x squared yeah we have plus x squared being equal to 4 minus x 
so when we take this uh, to the other side of the equal sign i think we're getting to the same answer again because this will be x squared then this negative x when it goes to the other side of the equal sign it's going to be equal to uh, negative 3 x and then when this 4 goes to the other side of the equal sign it's going to be 0 so many equate it to 0 same solution again you are just going through the same things again so this is what you are going to have so either x is going to be equal to 0 or x minus 3 being equal to 0 meaning your value of x will be equal to so meaning your value of x will be equal to uh, 3 sorry So these are basically the solutions for this equation. You can try them out. Try to put 3 there or put 0 there. When you put 0 there, you're going to have the square root of 4 to the other side, which gives you 2. And then even this other side of the equal sign, you have 2. So put 3 there. 2 minus 3, you get 1. 4 minus uh, 3, you get 1. The square root of 1, you get 1. So this is uh, the solution for this question. So thank you very much for watching today's tutorial. This is question 10 from Tutorial Sheet 2. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.